Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of the Cool Kids Clan Fury. It is a big night here in Atlanta, Georgia. How is everybody doing here tonight? It's always Mobzilla out here that loves watching the women. Isn't that right, Mobzilla? Despite the fact that he is very sexist, homophobic, racist, you name him. It is a packed show tonight. We got every single women's championship being defended tonight. You got the women's tag team titles, you got the knockouts title, and then you got the women's world title. But we're going to kick off the show here with the women's tag team championship matchup. It is the forces oh my of goodness, greatness Yuri on, getting on an opportunity oh that the God. titles are so true. Monica and Yuri. That's just going to cry when he realizes he wasn't here. Oh my here. God. Like taking on Sayori and Atsuki, the tag team champions. Monica and Yuri out here for moral support. They out here to support the literature club, out here to support the champions, to see if they can walk out of here still the champs. It's a big match starting right now. It is packed tonight in the State Farm Arena. And now here come the forces of greatness. It seems like it's Everyone's just Nia Jackson who fires them. So true. Nia Jax, yeah, Nia Jax and Nikita Lions are perfect for each other. They're both anti-vaxxers. But this yeah. ain't about anti-vaxxing. The only reason they're able to compete tonight is because they're in the U.S. If we were in Canada, they would have not made it past the security. I can guarantee you that. But Nia Jax, Nikita Lions, they're entering by themselves here tonight, despite the fact that they used to be, you know, they get along quite well in the last, the last couple of weeks. Maybe not anymore. They took those individual losses to the literature club. And I feel like there may be a, a wedge driven between them at that point. But that's what they want to avoid. If they want to win the women's tag team titles, they got to work together as a what? You guessed it, a tag team. Wow, incredible. Oh Whatever I guess. It's almost like you got to actually be a tag team to win this. And here come Nikita. Tag teams doing tag team matches. True. We're not like some companies that just pair people up for the most random reasons. Uh oh. Isn't that, isn't that right? When Nikita Lions tonight looking to capture her first championship, capturing championship gold if she manages to defeat the Literature Club, but it's not an easy feat considering the fact they lost to Sayori and Natsuki individually from the last couple of weeks. Goofy Sayori. And of course, last time they had a women's tag team title opportunity, it was at Bash at the Beach. It was in the triple threat matchup, which L Literature Club ended up winning the titles. Winning back the titles, but... And now tonight, we await the champions taking their sweet time. And here they come, just in fashionable time. In fashionable display. Bro, they got the whole gang out here. They all about to jump oh these god. girls. That's they literally insane. about to jump them. Oh my god. Sayori, Natsuki with the women's tag team titles. Yuri and Monica here tonight supporting their fellow literature club members. You know what would be an interesting thing to see? Monica winning the women's title and then Yuri winning the knockouts one. That's like total that domination on Fury. It's the bloodline. <laughs> it's just the bloodline of Fury. But of course, that's not the case here. That it's just Monica being out here for moral support. We very rarely see her. As well as Yuri. You brought that up earlier. We very rarely see Yuri around here. But she's here tonight. That looking to get a up so close sad. get up close action to this matchup. As the champions are looking to walk out of here. Still, the women with the women's tag team titles intact. I don't know where Yuri went. I think she's just camera shy, which yes. explains why she's never on Fury. First and last time she's on, she's on Fury. First time this year, baby. I don't know. I don't keep track of the of the Yuri lore. There she is. Yeah. I've been for our women's tag team titles. Women's tag team. Yes, we know, Joe. Nikita, Leon, no, they're not the, the champions. Nia Maybe if Jax they win, but... And, Nikita, Leon. and they Leon. look focused. They look angry. Nikita, They're not here to play Leon. around. And their opponents. They are the women's champions. Sawyer. Okay, not even the tag. Sawyer. And 
Sawyer. Suzuki, the club. And the Literature Club proudly representing the Women's Tag Team Division. The only two-time Women's World Tag Team Champions. As of course they've held the titles in their second run for 28 days. About a complete a month now. But tonight it could end. And it could end to the forces of greatness. But there's only one way to find out. And that is as soon as the bell rings. And there we go. The match is underway. It's Sayori and Nia Jax to kick off this matchup. And immediately it's just Nia Jax going right after Sayori. Things are not looking so well for her right now. And it's the case here. Maybe if, you know, they got their ass beat in singles competition. Like I mentioned previously. Tag team and tag team bout. Might be a whole different ball game. Because, you know. It's interesting to see that Nia Jax and Nikita Lyons definitely dominant when they're both a cohesive unit. But Sayori seems like she's getting the, the, the end here of Nia Jax. And as long as she can keep, as long as the Literature Club can keep Nia Jax or Nikita Lyons singled out from her partner, then that's the best case scenario to retain the titles. Because if you just have Nikita or Nia Jax breaking it up here, really, like, she's just, it's just this thing's going to go on for a long time. And right now, though, Sayori's in trouble. Seems like Nia Jax may have strategized now. Uh -oh. Strategized heading into this matchup. People felt felt like people were overlooking her. Felt like people would be making fun of her if she lost to a tag team like Sayori and Natsuki. Throws those forearms there. Nice shot to Nia Jax. Face first into the quarter. And she's about to get a closer look here into the turnbuckle. Oh, my lord. Oh, my gravy. Oh my goodness, Gravy. And Nia Jax gets plummeted there. That's where gravity does not fall in her favor. You see Nikita Lyons desperate for the tag now. Sayori makes a tag to Natsuki though, but can Nia Jax do the same? You see her crawling. She's struggling. That's the most cardio she's done in a week, and Nikita's yes. in the matchup now. Nikita, on the, other on the other hand, she's fast. She's agile. She's quick on her feet. She's not a beast. What? No, she's not! How dare you say such a thing, Mobzilla? I'm about to ping. I'm about to ping her on on Twitter and tell you and tell her what no. you said. Oh not my Twitter. god! Oh my god! I'm what, not Twitter. Any anything but Twitter. And right now, Natsuki Something just going right after Nikita Lyons here. My God! Look at the back here. It was two weeks ago, I believe, that Nikita Lyons and Nia Jax had that one-on-one -on -one matchup, and of course, Natsuki ended up getting the victory on that night. And right now, it seems like history could be repeating itself as she is just laying the groundwork on Nikita Lyons. Just using her shoe, stepping all over her face like a doormat. And Nikita Lyons manages to counter this time. Nikita's on the offense. Could she take advantage and capitalize? I guess not because Natsuki pushes her right off. Natsuki's got an opening, but she does nothing with it. And now Nikita Lyons is going to go for the attack on Natsuki. Now just kind of pacing away from the champion. And Nia Jax gets tagged in now. It's Nia Jax on her own. And now it seems like Natsuki escaped it just in time because Sayori's in the matchup again. And now it's once again a one-on-one -on -one bout between Sayori and Nia Jax. You see her Sayori trying to take down Nia Jax, but she just can't. She's too big. She's too powerful. There's no way in Christ that she's able to take her down like that easily. So Yuri, on the other hand, might as well just go for the kicks and a nice clothesline. Nia Jax struggling here for a bit. But so Yuri's got to keep herself composed here. Can't really, you know, let herself get too distracted. Can't get overconfident. Got to keep her eye on the ball because this is exactly what's going to happen. Nia Jax is just deadlifting Sayori like it's absolutely nothing. So Yuri going for the roll up here. Shoulders down, Matt. Here it is, Natsuki, watching as her partner. Can she pin Nia Jax? Oh my goodness! Interesting was, result. Damn! Sayori with the surprise roll up got the victory here tonight on Nia Jax. I don't think that match was even 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, almost 10. Yeah, it was less than 10 minutes. Definitely not faster than Mobzilla versus John Economy. Oh my but. god. <laughs> I might keep bringing it up every time there's a fast match, unless somebody breaks the record someday, which is going to be, you know, almost never. But Sayori and Atsuki. That isn't like, uh, Sayori and Atsuki lift to see day 29 of their tag team title run. 
Oh my lord. Honestly, like this, if they were gonna retain the titles tonight, this is how they were gonna do it. Surprise Nia Jax with the roll, because I definitely would not be able to see them get pinned or submitted. Well, I mean, they did, but considering the momentum that they've had, considering Nia Jax and Nikita Lyons' anger, this is kind of the way to surprise them. You know, I don't know how I lasted like nine defense. minutes with me six, but then lost in 50 seconds. <laughs> I don't know, John Economy is like, technically stronger contest. than me six in the lore. Either way, congrats to Sayori and Atsuki, still your women's tag team champions. As I was saying, everybody seems to be retaining their titles this week. But right now, coming up next, the curse, or maybe it's not really a curse, but more so, the luck may be running out because Emma's got a second opportunity at the Knockouts Championship. This time she can make amends for what happened when she lost it less than a week, a week to Josie Jane. So true. It was like five days. Like how? Josie Jane with how her unlucky. first title defense. We're going to see just how well she does in the ring if she can defeat Emma for the second time it's knockouts championship action coming up next welcome back to my TED talk one fall, one fall. Two fall. no we had that yesterday three fall no falls and now here comes the former knockouts champion Emma the woman that took literally seven months to capture almost seven, eight months to capture the championship, and it took her like eight seconds to lose it. It, it all came tumbling to down just for seven this. days to lose it. <laughs> Literally took her seven months to win it, and then dropped it in less than seven days. That's why I'm saying it's the chase is She's much technically the chase is much easier than you know being the, the ch being or, oh my god i'm like spitballing my words here what i'm trying I to say much. is that chasing the title is way different compared to you know actually maintaining it in your possession emma could go after that title all she wants she could be like earth chan and be like a 50-time women's champion but if you can't even successfully defend the title then what's the point how's anybody supposed to take you as a credible champion but Emma seems to want to make amends over that. Seems like she wants to erase that first title record and override it with Josie the Jane. new one. Oh my god, it's Josie Jane, the heart of Saskatoon, Canada. Despite Saskatoon. the fact she keeps saying she's from Calgary. Nobody Calgary. believes that she's from Calgary. She claims to be the greatest submission master in the world, in Canada. Everywhere around as Josie Jane has traveled everywhere. She's made her name across many different promotions She showed up to, to fury to make a name for herself here to expand her name here in the server and She's done exactly just that she's became Hopefully the knockouts champion right here So true Josie Jane the greatest server member as it is for the knockouts title Put that thing in my face. Introducing the challenger from the Virgin Islands. So true. Emma. Emma's so happy here. Maybe a little overconfident. Introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. She is the Impact Champion. Joyce the Impact Champion. Jane. Or she likes to claim herself the Canadian Champion. Wow, I don't care. <laughs> well, too bad because Josie Jane's representing uh, Canada for the women's division, so cry about Terrible. it. Terrible. And Emma, on the other hand, she representing the server and the Virgin Islands. As the referee is now the new Knockouts champion, well deserved. Congratulations. Oh. Took the title from Josie Jane, and Josie Jane, she's literally held the title for three weeks now. Seems like maybe in, after three weeks she can lose it and immediately went for a drop kick, but it doesn't seem like it worked out so well. But now she's on the offense. Now she's on the attack. Emma's got to focus here. I mean, I understand that she's trying to overwrite the first championship, make sure nobody ever remembers it and have a better one this time around. But it's not going to be easy. Emma's got to go through a fight and she's got to get through Josie Jane, who is not going to be an easy competitor. But right now it seems like Emma is tape is letting everybody know that she's not intimidated by her but josie jane caught emma while she was distracted grabbed her by the hair and just slammed her on the mat kicked to the back here 
This Josie Jane's got to get her, they got to get the challenger up to her feet. It was literally less than a month ago that Emma was celebrating the winning the knockouts title, but now it seems like she's back to square one. Nice drop kick completely missed. Emma managed to counter, but Josie Jane once again with the escape. It's just a back and forth session between these two women as they fight for the opportunity to call themselves champion. Now Josie Jane's in trouble. She's in a headlock here by Emma. Emma going right after the arm on Josie Jane. And Josie Jane, if she wants to claim, if she wants to proclaim that she's as good as she says she is, she's got to win this matchup. Because you can't be going around here bragging, saying that you're the best, you know, submission wrestler and all this stuff, when you can't even win a match. Like obviously, Josie Jane, she's got a lot to lose as much as Emma does as well. I'm going to spoil who's Hatsune Miku's um, the tag team partner, Gary. It's, it's oh Gary. my lord, so true. Yeah. It's probably going to be Gary, let's be honest. Speaking of Hatsune Miku, we still got that tag team matchup with 0-2 and Karen Chungus taking on Hatsune Miku and a partner of her choosing. Who could it be? It's going to be interesting to see. And then we got the main Gary's event, which is Rain um, defending the women's world title against Carter. Lois Griffin. But right now it seems like Emma's going right after Josie Jane. Seems like she's getting more offense this time around compared to the first time they clashed at for the say. title. It could all come it could all come swiveling down as Josie Jane with her clothesline, but it seems like she completely missed. Looked like for a split second she was gonna take out Emma on the outside of the ring. Emma going for the cover here. Is this it? Can she win back the knockouts title? It's a kick out here. And Emma could very easily, you know, win the knockouts title, you know. Twice in a month, which is unheard of, actually. And maybe in, a, in the span of 30, 30 days, actually. Not not a month, because we just started September. Cover now is this sick. Can Emma win the title? It's a kick out. Josie Jane. Emma is just so shocked, so confused. She's got to think about what she's got to do. Josie Jane hasn't even broken a sweat yet. But it seems like it may be over now because if Emma can land the finisher, if she can land the scissor kick, oh, when she does not, Josie Jane escapes it. That Real scissor school, kick is a deadly people. move. Good. Now you can do something other than be on Discord all day. And uh -huh. Josie Jane. Josie Jane looks like she's sending her up for something. Not going for after that. the arm here. To touch it. Oh wait, she's going for a submission hold. Going for the submission hold. Look like a single like Boston Crab here. But using the arm here for support. Boston. Emma might tap out here actually. I wouldn't even be surprised. Emma is just being stretched in places no that should not angle. be stretched places that the human body should not be able to bend and Josie Jane in trouble Emma goes after the jaw and this could be the opening she needs but what does she do she taunts her right in front of your face how about just getting the match done and over with win the title and then you can celebrate but Emma's fired up now this is her comeback sequence she's got the goddamn spear in the corner and now wilding her up Taunt in the crowd, letting them know what's going on. And Josie Jane getting the win knocked out of her. Watch out now. Emma, nice move there. Taking down the champion. This could be it. Is Emma going to become a two-time knockouts champion? And she this does. Very this. interesting. Emma just literally ended Josie Jane's title run. Disaster. <laughs> let's hope that let's hope that Emma actually holds the title longer than uh than um been you know five days now but Emma surprising everybody making amends for that title loss a couple of weeks ago is 21 days later a 21 day title run of Josie Jane ended tonight as I mean, Emma is now of, the only two-time cool kids clan knockouts champion so she's already made history in herself yeah we saw Josie Jane try to bring up a fight here. Josie Jane, she overestimated Emma. She thought this was going to be a cakewalk, and then look what happened. Emma once again holding championship gold. What an amazing moment for Emma. What an amazing sight to see. We, we now got two server members that are holding women's tag team title, or not tag team title, but women's championship gold around here, other than the literature club. But still... As Emma celebrates tonight with the people of Atlanta, Georgia. Terrible. All these hillbillies going to celebrate Emma. None of these guys care about her whatsoever. 
But either way, congratulations to Emma, the new two-time knockouts champion. Oh yeah, actually, we gotta see who's the mystery partners coming up next. One for no reason. I don't know what Mobzilla said, but I agree. I think. Yeah. And now here comes the team of Zero Two and Karen Chungus. And I'm getting internal memo from earlier tonight that they don't want to be called that. They want to be called the Zero Twos. God, it's such a terrible name. I, so I sure true. love watching it's this It's such stream. a corny name. Like, Zero Two is out here. They get acting like she's the second coming of Christ. Acting like she's Virgin Mary being reincarnated into our into our world again. And Karen Chungus out here. She's, I think I feel like she's maybe getting yeah, Zero she's... Two a bit overconfident. Is Zero Two? She's you know trying to make a name out of Hatsune Miku, trying to just step on on her accolades and elevate herself to the top of the women's division. And with Karen Chungus in her corner, it's not going to be easy to beat Zero Two, considering Karen's going to do everything in her power to let her win. Zero you Two, she's got. My oh yeah, I forgot. To, I forgot about that. Okay, there you it's go, just, Bob. I genuinely forgot visuals. to open it back up. It's just like it's literally like one of those uh, like the rate. You know how they like uh, commentate uh, football games on on radio broadcasts or something uh yeah like they say oh he's going for the 20 going for the 20 touchdown it's like stuff like that's basically what it is crazy visuals. mob doesn't get the privilege of seeing the fury show you gotta wait till it's on you gotta it's on youtube right now you gotta wait till it's on here and zero two and karen chungus perfect synchronization between the two karen chungus that's equally stupid Karen Chungus also has some with some beef with Hatsune Miku, considering the fact that last March Karen Chungus fought her for the women's world title at WrestleMania. And I feel like Karen Chungus is just jealous of the fact that she hasn't let go of that loss. So now she's letting Zero Two fight her battles. And speaking of Gary's going crazy. So true, Gary going crazy right now in the stands. Because the former women's world champion has arrived in the building. Well, we're not in Houston, so obviously Gary's not in attendance. Hatsune Miku tonight, looking fired up, looking ready to go. And I understand, I mean, like, she has not been able to get back in the title picture. She's had to deal with her issues with Zero Two, considering the fact that Zero Two is just trying to get rid of Hatsune Miku, kind of make her leave forever. The Hatsune Miku, she's not going down like that. She's not going to let a bunch of ones and zeros tell her what to do, despite the fact that she's also a bunch of ones and zeros. Hatsune Miku making a glorious entrance here tonight. He'll look well. No, I don't think I will. In front of the people of the State Bomb Arena. None of these front guys probably have insurance. They should stick to progressive. Hatsune Miku tonight it begs the question who is she going to choose for a tag team partner because there's not many people I can think of off the top of my head that would willingly Another fake team person. up that would willingly team up with Hatsune Miku a, a VTuber oh no <laughs> it's going to be a VTuber it's going to be one of Speen's VTubers yeah oh, Speen's no. going to instantly join BC oh my god he's going to start appearing for like a fear every week considering the fact she stepped on everybody during her time as women's world champion, I mean, who's really gonna want to be with, be in her corner? Someone that isn't in revolt. I mean, Fury. This is this is revolt, guys. This is Fury. Let's see who Hatsune Miku chose to be her partner. Oh, uh, well, this is an interesting choice. It's kind of goofy. Seems like Undyne has joined the building. Interesting. Well, Oh my lord, Undyne is in the building now. I mean, I understand, I kind of understand why she chose Undyne, considering the fact that these two had a very intense feud for the women's world title maybe a couple of months ago. I mean, it seems like they're making amends right now. It seems like they're on the same page. Undyne also has some issues with Zero Two, so why not team up together to take them down? Hatsune, Miku, and Undyne, if this is going to be a permanent thing, honestly, I could see them being a dominant tag team around here. Yeah. No debate about it. You got the first ever knockouts champion, 
you got the longest reign in women's champion. They got more accomplishments than Zero Two and Karen Chungus has ever ha ever had. As we go back to tag team competition, the bell rings. The match is underway. Zero Two and Hatsune Miku are gonna start off this matchup, and immediately you see Zero Two just planting Hatsune Miku on the mat. Things are not looking well for her so far. I think her best case scenario is just to tag in Undyne. Mobzilla out here probably expected it to be a, like another PNG YouTuber or something. Thank God it's not. True. If it was, he would have been complaining. If it, it, Since it wasn't, he's still complaining. You can't satisfy Mobzilla. I hate Fury. Wee. And now immediately Zero Two just right, pressing her goddamn knee on the back of Hatsune Miku. And now it seems like she's going for an Irish whip here into the corner. Hatsune Miku gets planted there. If there's one woman that maybe has her leg up on the competition now, it might be Zero Two. We saw Hatsune Miku lose to Sickle last week on Fury. Seems like they that may have. Yeah, she did. Which was a shocking victory on her part. What the hell is Zero Two doing? So maybe Hatsune Miku's not even focused at all. Maybe she's. Maybe she's got to realize that she's kind of losing her grip around here. Losing the grip that she once had on this brand. The whole reason this brand started is because of Hatsune Miku. Like, let's be completely honest about it. But now it seems like as soon as people, as soon as things change around here, maybe she feels a little bit left out. Maybe she feels like she can't keep up with the newer, younger talent such as Zero Two. And Hatsune Miku uh, go yes. on the attack and immediately gets oh, back up though. So true. We got young talent like Karen Chungus. Yeah. Now it seems like young Zero Two just Asia. constantly on the attack on Hatsune 56. Miku. Multiple clotheslines to the former champion. The referee's at a six count. These two women got to get back into the ring eventually. Oh, watch out here, Hatsune Miku. She might get counted out. Oh, and place plants her onto the steel steps. She's got to get her back in the ring unless Zero Two wants to win this thing by count out. And it seems like that may be the case. Zero Two's got to get You're back in the scummy, ring. I'm going to be honest. Referee at a uh, nine count. Hatsune Miku's wow, going to lose this matchup. The, all of these matches are what, so Oh my god. And wow. She tagged in Karen as soon as it was a 10 count. Out of four. And we're only oh 31 my minutes Undyne in. Undyne just showed up. Just standing in the corner. <laughs> Wow, yeah, what, so a match. The, what a match. So Ten much for her time. tag team partner, bro. Zero Two taking the cheap way out. She's going to start bragging about how she beat Hatsune Miku. She's going to yeah. start bragging about it doesn't matter how she won as long as she won. It's going to say in the record books that Zero Two beat Hatsune Miku. That's two straight losses in a row for her. Damn. And Undyne just kind of said, uh, uh, screw it, I'm out of here. Undyne is just fed up at this point. Is zero two, Karen Chungus pick up a huge win here tonight. Look how proud she is. Look how proud she is of that count out victory. Karen Chungus must have really coached her well. Taught her how to be a three match losing streak. Taught her how to be a cheater around here. So true. Zero two, overconfident as she beat Hatsune Miku by a count out. Very Either way, confident. so true. Definitely well deserved. And coming up next, we got our main event. It's literally been like 30 minutes, and we're already on our main event. So this thing is either going to be really short or it's going to go on for the next 30 minutes because the women's title is on the line when Rain defends against the number one ranked, possibly one of the favorites on Fury, Lois Griffin. Who's going to walk out of here with the women's world championship? We're going to find out. There's also a guy in the DFL roster named Brian Griffin. Yeah. One fall. For the women's world championship. Tell him, Joe. Tell him. That does not look like the women's world champion, but Lois Griffin's in the building. She's so happy that her son, Brian Griffin, her, her pet dog, Brian Griffin. Or which one's the dog again? I forgot. Brian. Yeah, then who's the kid? I forgot. But there's two, well, there's three kids. There's oh, Chris, Meg, Chris, Chris, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, I don't know why I just had a How do you not know the family guy? Yeah. I had a brain aneurysm for a split second there. But either way, Lois Griffin 
She's one of the longest reigning, if not the longest reigning knockouts champion in history. And she looks to do the same thing. She looks to elevate, and so in, or in this case, her words, elevate the women's championship. And she could do so by winning her first women's championship tonight. But she's got to get through the champion in order to do so. Which is not going to be an easy feat. We're going we gonna to find out. I think this is actually Reigns' first title defense after, after Bash at the Beach. Not too sure. It may be the case. But either way, she going she gonna to make the challenger wait. She's going to make... She's going to let her... Come out here and get just overly frustrated. Let her we get overly. Champion. Oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious! As the champion looks ready, she looks focused. She does not seem intimidated whatsoever by Lois Griffin. She is not intimidated. That's somebody that got screwed by goddamn Quagmire. As oh, the no. champion looks to walk out of here. Still with her championship intact. She's been the women's world champion for 63 days. She won it back at, at what's that pay-per-view called? I forgot. Break the bank. And since then, she's been holding it down in the women's division. But we could have the new face of Fury after tonight if Lois wins this matchup. So there's a lot of pressure on the champion. But it seems like she's not faced. Seems like she can handle the competition around here. We haven't made many title reign jokes with Rain. Why would I need to? Because it's funny. Because their name is Rain. The, the, jo the joke is. Title. You see, the joke is. Is her title, title reign. reign going to end? Haha, <laughs> funny. What is she doing? Island. Nerd emoji. <laughs> nerd emoji. Lois is the living embodiment of the nerd emoji. Peter, you can't stab me 15 times. Hey, Pena. Hey, Pena. I'm gonna win a championship. The white one instead. The white one instead of the red one, because I'm I'm from Rhode Island. She looks very confident here tonight. This is my house. No, obviously it's not. This is an arena, you idiot. God. Never knew the people of Atlanta were this stupid. Except Booty, is he the only exception? And that's what is it all about the Women's World Championship. Held high up in the air. And, and Reign's 63 day title run could come to an end if she loses to Lois here tonight. The bell rings, our main event is underway and immediately Lois Griffin going right after the champion. Seems like things are not going so well for her right now in the early going of this fight. Lois Griffin right now on the offense, but Rain manages to counter with a kick of her own. And this time she goes for the attack on Lois. And right now Lois seems like she may have got a bit overconfident in the beginning of this. And now that seems like the tides have changed. And now the champion is showing why she's the champ for a reason. But Lois went for the goddamn super kick there. Seems like she did a little extra there before the kick. Kind of just over exaggerating there. I got the champion of the corner, gets the knees to the back here. Now you see her kind of struggling here. Maybe if this is going to be a factor in the matchup, she might might end up losing. With the champion and just the Irish whip, Lois. Nice move there into the drop kick, and now Lois is in trouble. Rain kind of just scouting her opponent, realizing what she's got to do to defeat her here tonight. Going for the suplex here, and of course, Lois Griffin is not in, no matter. How much Lois Griffin is actually a pretty tough competitor. I mean, if she held yeah. the title for that, she held the knockout title for that long. There's obviously a reason to it. And now it seems like these two women are brawling on the outside. We all know what happened the last time that two women were brawling on the outside. And by the last time, I literally mean a couple of minutes ago. For the drop king, it just immediately rolled back into the ring. What? She literally stood there and did nothing. Why? Why are you not why are you not surprised that Lois Griffin went and capitalized? Actual dumbass. And now Lois gets the knee to the face. Oh my lord, actually the foot to the face. Using those disgusting Brian Griffin getting that Brian Griffin shit off the bottom of her soles. No. Oh. Now Lois on the offense. She's got the champion on the ropes. Went for a nice back elbow there. And Lois Griffin showing 
that she is not intimidated whatsoever, that she's going to walk out of here with the championship, and it's a kick out. Lois Griffin might be getting frustrated now. Lois Griffin got to think about possibly ending this matchup soon if she wants to be the next women's world champion. And right now, though, he's going to go for the stretch here. He's uh, just stretching the limbs right now. It seems like she's in trouble. She taps out here. This is going to be a very bad situation. And she escaped the hold here. You see Lois Griffin using all of her strength. She could, she could practically taste the championship gold now and looks like she let it go. Seems like Reyna struggling in this matchup for the for the most part of it. She went for the slap but completely missed. And that may be the factor that is going to cost her the matchup because Reyna's on the offense oh. again. Here you go. She's going to set her up for a power bomb. It seems and looks like she didn't get much of it. But she got a good day. amount of damage cover to kick out at one. You got to do a hell of a lot more if you want to defeat Lois here tonight. Lois Griffin is not giving up. Very resilient in the ring, and what a nice tackle there. What is this? What is this? Football? She out here tackling like a linebacker. And now Irish over the corner. Oh, looks like she managed to get her. Now the champion's in trouble. Lois Griffin. If she can keep up this momentum, she might as well win the championship. But it looked like she was going to set her up for the spine buster signature move. And this time, Rain gets her with the stunner. stunner. And just like that, it might be the end of the matchup now. Cover, can she retain tonight against Lois Griffin? And it's a kick out. Dude. Damn, that was a very close call. I feel like her hitting the stunner, her hitting the finisher on Lois Griffin, it was an act of desperation. That's why I yeah. feel like it didn't do enough damage to get the job done. Because she, she feels maybe a bit, you know, over, not over intimidated, but it seems like maybe she's getting... A little bit frustrated at Lois Griffin. She knows that she's been getting a lot of the offense in this matchup. So just hitting her finisher and just trying to get her, keep her down as best as possible is the way to go here. But now it seems like she's on the offense. Lois manages to counter. Nice move there. Nice and step up in Seguri. Now Lois Griffin taunts in the crowd now. Possibly could be seeing a new women's champion. And immediately she's got the comeback. Things are not looking good so well for her. Lois Griffin now. Gonna get the champion back up to her feet though. Could this be the moment she needs setting up for the spine buster and there uh -oh. it is. Oh Not my good. lord. Well, watch out here, Rain manages to escape. Nice shoulder drag. And that was what Lois Griffin was unable to do the first time. She tried to go for the spine buster in the beginning and then you saw that Rain countered into the, into the stunner. But Lois, no matter what, no matter what Rain throws at her, Lois just keeps countering. I swear to God, oh my God, it plants her face first once again. Cover now is this it. Do we have a new women's world champion? And it's a kick out. She's not going down that easily. Lois Griffin, I feel like in this case, I mean, she's gotten a lot of offense down. But this is the point. This is the whole reason why Rain is the champion. We saw back at Bash at the Beach, Earth Chan was getting this overconfident with her. And we all know what happened in the end of that matchup. If there's anything about her is that Reyna's a fighter right now. And right now it seems like she saw the opening. Went for the kick, but Lois countered once again. No matter how many times she throws a punch, Lois just got something at her. And now just continuous kicks to the back here. She's just trying to injure her or something. She's just trying to just cripple her, get her out of here. Seems like that may be the case. And Lois Griffin now just kind of dragging her across the ring. And now she's going to use the rope for leverage. Oh, my Lord. Is this really how she's going to win the title? It's a kick out. It's a very close call, but it was not enough. Rain counters with a punch. And now manages to get the Pele kick in. And now Lois is down on the mat. And now this may be the sequence of the matchup that Rain needs. This may be the opening so that she can walk out of here with the championship. But Lois once again with the uppercut. What a fighter Lois is right now. And she's got it once again. I think that may be the end sequence. Cover yeah, now, actually, is this it? I Do we have won. a new women's champion cover? Lois Griffin will win the championship oh and she God. does. Oh my Lord. I mean, Lois Griffin, the face of fury now. Oh my God. This is I don't, incredible. I don't feel like I should be disappointed since Rain literally just beat like two former True. women's champions. But then but again, I, for the so title run that she had, it was definitely good. But Lois Griffin tonight definitely did not give up. Lois Griffin brought a fight and she brought it with a full tank of gas. Completely unintimidated by the champion. As Lois Griffin is gonna walk out of here with 
the Women's World Championship. She finally gets to capture that title. Oh if my someone Lord. could beat um, Matsuna Miku's reign like, record, I feel like it could be Lois. Maybe at this point, yeah, considering the fact that she held the knockouts title for as long as she did. And then you saw their reign, no matter how many times she threw punches and kicks at Lois Griffin, it just wasn't enough to take her down. And you see Lois with the Women's World Championship. I never thought I'd see the day where Lois Griffin is a women's champion. Considering the fact that she got elim she went from being eliminated in the very first round of that knockouts tournament like a like last year to now holding the women's title up high. Who ended up being more successful than Yuri. Yeah. Oh my lord. Lois Griffin shocking the world. We got two new women's champions tonight. Congratulations to Emma for winning back the knockouts title and congratulations to Lois Griffin, the new women's world champion. Thank you for joining us, everybody. We got a pack. We got a good card for next week's revolt. We don't still don't have one for Fury next week, but still, next week we got Roy and even X Flow on Revolt. That's oh, going to be an amazing oh, matchup, oh, incredible oh, matchup. Thank you, everybody.